Cougars Highlights brought to you by Commonwealth Financial. Hi, I'm Dan McLaren, President of Commonwealth Financial, and I'd like to thank you for taking an interest in our organization. At Commonwealth, we have a principle that's key to everything we do, and that's teamwork. Whether it's planning your financial future or negotiating a great rate on your mortgage, let us put our team to work for you. The Prince Albert Raiders in town to play the Prince George Cougars Wednesday night at CN Center. A princely battle, if you will, in the Western Hockey League. The Prince George Cougars playing their last home game for quite some time. They won't be back until October the 29th when Brandon is in town. The Cougars get off to a good start on this one. Look at the pass by Merrick Videnski on the power play to Dana Tyrell. Pretty easy goal for the captain. He puts away a beautiful feed from the import winger, and the Cougars have a 1-0 lead in the first period of play. Ian Curtis got his first start of the season for the Prince George Cougars, the 18-year-old backup. Uh, well, he actually stopped the first nine shots he saw in this game. Pretty good uh, out of the gate for Curtis, but that would uh, change in the second period. Things would fall apart for the Cougars, and it would be uh, Bryce Lamb's shot. It gets free, and that's a pretty easy giveaway or put away for Dustin Cameron. The score is tied 1-1, and then 44 seconds later, no, this is not a replay. It's a very similar type of a goal. This is Brandon Herrod. His shot gets past the glove of the, the young goaltender, and it's Ryan Button there to score his first Western Hockey League goal. The Raiders have a 2 to 1 lead, and Curtis is pulled from this hockey game, replaced by 20 year old starting netminder Kevin Armstrong. That would change some things for the Cats, and in the third period, they would get it back. Look at that feed by Brett Connolly. Yes, he's 16, and yes, he makes very nice passes to his captain and linemate Dana Tyrell, his second goal of the game, and that scores, it ties the score at two goals apiece. The Cougars were not done there, and this would lead to the game winner. It's Cameron Seepek leading the rush. He will play give and go with Tyrell, deflecting the puck past Stephen Stanford, who's very good in goal for Prince Albert on this night. The Cougars win a 3-2. Dana Tyrell and Brett Connolly in on all three goals, three goals apiece. The Cougars would end up with a 3-2 victory. They are now 6-1 on the season, 5-0 at home, and they will play their next nine games away from home at, as a long road trip that starts Friday night in Kamloops, continues in Kelowna, then heads out to Alberta. For the PrinceGeorgeCitizen.com, I'm Jim Swanson.